Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I just got back from my trip to Hawaii so we're restocking our house with healthy food. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost and maintained 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, have questions, or if you need a little extra accountability, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into my kitchen for a grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week post vacation. I am planning on going to Sam's Club soon, so I just made sure that I picked up what we would need for another week or so, and I did shop at my local Fry store, which is a Kroger store. What you don't see is Diet Coke and Gatorade Zero for Troy, and now let's jump into what I did pick up at Fry's. So I've been getting back into drinking kombucha. I've been drinking about a half of a bottle at a time. I really wanted the fall one. They didn't have it, so I picked up the Honeycrisp apple, which sounds amazing. This is my favorite kombucha brand, the GT's Synergy. I find it to be the best tasting and it has the most quality ingredients. I also grabbed some light mayo because it was on sale for $4.99, which is a really good deal these days for mayonnaise. They're usually around six or seven dollars. So I did grab some Kraft light mayo. I grabbed some full fat, good culture cottage cheese. It just sounded really good. They had reduced fat as well, but I decided to go with the whole milk this time just for that little bit of extra creaminess. And, and you already know good culture is my favorite brand. These just sounded really good. I haven't had them in a long time. These are the wasabi and soy sauce almonds. I am leaving again in a couple weeks for another trip to Texas. So I thought that I could use these as a snack. I've been doing a lot of little snack plates with nuts and meat and cheese and crackers and fruit. So I thought these would be great for that. And then I can also take them with me on my trip as a good snack. Two gallons of skim milk for Troy. And then I did stop off as always at the reduced bakery section. That's one of my favorite things about fries. These are just the assorted mini cookies. So these are basically a sugar cookie with M&Ms. So I grabbed those and then Troy really likes these. I actually like these too. These are the little mini scones and these are blueberries. So I grabbed a couple sweets for the week. Little packs of raisins. This is for my meal prep. And then I thought that this would again make a really good snack. So instead of buying a bag, I decided to get the little individual boxes and the organic was the same price as the regular. So I went ahead and grabbed the organic. Stopped off at the deli for some lunch meat. Again, I will probably buy my favorite turkey pastrami at Sam's Club, but until then, I grabbed some roast beef for Troy and then some mesquite turkey for me. I also grabbed some turkey pepperoni. This is from the brand Boar's Head. I've been making these little pizza route pizza melts with my flat outs and it's really good. I may share it with you guys in what I eat in a day. And so I picked up some turkey pepperoni for that. It's really been one of my favorite little lunches. And then I grabbed Troy some more of his favorite butter, the Country Crock Light. I do not use light butter other than in baking. If I use butter for anything, I just use regular Kerrygold butter, but this is the one that he prefers. I needed some bran flakes for my meal prep. So I grabbed these ones from Nature's Path and then Triscuits for some reason just sounded really good. Like I said, I've been doing those little snack plates with crackers and I'm out of my other crackers that I picked up from Trader Joe's. So I thought I would try Triscuits. They were two for five. So I have the dill, sea salt, and olive oil and the garden herb. These actually have really clean ingredients. So I thought that that would be a good addition to my snack plates this week. I also grabbed Troy some more tortillas. He makes a lot of tortilla type of things, sometimes with peanut butter, quesadillas, and the La Banderita are, in my opinion, some of the best. For canned goods, I needed a can of pinto beans for my meal prep, and then I decided to grab a can of black beans as well because I had a coupon if I bought two cans of beans. And we can always use beans in our house. And then I did grab two cans of tomato paste for a recipe. And then I got a lot of produce. We are out of produce. All we have in our fridge, produce 
produce wise is a couple sweet potatoes, some mini bell peppers and some raspberries. So I stocked up on produce, more mini cucumbers. You guys already know these are our favorite. And then for fruits for the week, oh, I do have some apples and some cuties in my fridge. So I always need berries because I put berries on my yogurt bowl and in my cottage cheese and strawberries were $1.50 this week at Fry's. So I picked up two strawberries and then raspberries were two for five. So I did grab two packs of raspberries. Carrot chips just sounded really good with dip or hummus. And again, a good addition to my snack plate. I needed two Granny Smith apples for my meal prep and then a couple of onions for meal prep and some dinners this week. I also grabbed a big bag of Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts and I don't eat them enough. And one of the recipes that I'm making for dinner, you guys will see it in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, calls for Brussels sprouts. So I got a big bag and then I wanted to have a salad today. I didn't really eat a lot of vegetables when I was in Hawaii and I'm craving veggies. And hence the reason why I picked up so much produce. But I grabbed some romaine. Main. I have some baby spinach in my fridge and I also picked up some mushrooms so that I can put that on the salad and I'm just going to make a big salad with some just bear chicken on it for lunch today. I'm actually really excited about that. And then the last thing that I picked up is a bag of avocados. These are on coupon for $1.99, which is great. There's four in there. Yeah, four avocados for $1.99. That's about 50 cents a piece. So really, really good deal right now at Kroger stores. So that is my grocery haul. Like I said, just enough to make it through the week before I make my run to Sam's Club. Let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. Today, Saturday, we are doing out to dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making a sloppy joe tater tot casserole. Monday, I'm doing a harvest chicken skillet, and you'll actually see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's leftovers, Wednesday we're doing tacos, and then we're gonna do leftovers on Thursday and Friday as well. I am also back to meal prepping and I can't be more excited about it. So for breakfast this next week, I'm going to be prepping bran muffins. These are a really healthy fiber filled breakfast. For lunch, we're going to do quinoa pizza balls. I'm actually really, really excited for this. And then for a snack, I'm making peanut butter no bake energy balls. Again, something really easy, convenient, and portable. So stay tuned on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week. Get us through the week with some healthy food. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I do upload five videos every week and we always do a grocery haul on Saturday. Don't forget to check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free and we'd love to have you. Happy Saturday friends and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. You're not going to want to miss it. It's a very special one. Bye.